Where's the camera? Okay, so we're gonna get serious on this one. I had a feeler set and uh, got a good pump on it. So now I'm gonna really, really finish this set off, go to total failure with each arm. And uh, you're gonna notice that when the reps get hard, I don't get fast and sloppy. I actually get into them more and make them fail even worse, you know? Let's go. Hey Mutant Nation, Big Ron Parlo here, and I'm at the Dragon's Lair in Las Vegas. I'm training back, and I'm really excited because I haven't shot a solo training video for Mutant for a while. So uh, it's been a minute, and I'm back, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I'm starting with a pull down, which is standard issue, but they've got this awesome arsenal strength rack here that has a double pulley on it. So each side has an independent feel and I'm using these prime handles. I'm not going crazy heavy on this so I don't really need to like wrap my straps. So I can just grab these handles and I'm just trying to drive my elbows straight down and just get a really good contraction on the lats. Running my arms along the side of my body like this. My elbows aren't out at all, they're straight down, boom. Feels good to be back on camera. It's been a while. Plus, I love this gym. It's a fun gym. The one guy you're working with was saying, hey, he gets in every video. You gotta edit him out. <laughs> So chest supported T-bars are an incredible back exercise. Hugely underrated and misperformed by a lot of people. But uh, I'm doing these today for lats and mid back. I want like an overall row. You know, if I was aiming for lats, I'd want my elbows here. If I was aiming for pure mid back, I'd want a row high. But I'm using this handle here. I really like it. This is the old Atlantis machine and I really like that handle. It's a good overall back movement. So we're gonna load it up. I was told by our amazing cinematography crew here that uh, the giant and the giant killer had three plates on this machine. And I was like, I kind of expected them to have five plates on because I got three plates on. I don't know. all right hey 
Could still throw some bales of hay around. It's good to know. I've actually never, I've never actually worked on this. I tried it out once, just played around on it. But uh, this is the Ar Arsenal Strength Isolateral Pull Down, so we're gonna give it a run through. The handles on this one turn, so you kinda gotta decide before you're set where you want your hands. Uh, I did like a rep like this, and then I was like moving them around. So uh, I'll get a little more set on this next one. Fuck. That's a pretty heavy machine considering they got that weight on a long arm, so it's uh it's got some weight to it. The main thing you want to do when you're loading any machine, the most important thing you want to do is you want to make sure you use plates that don't look the same because it annoys dusty hand shot. And that's really really at the bottom of everything, that's what I want to do. I don't want to bother Dusty. I want him to look at my machines and go, ah, and have like a head headache. So, this one's for you, buddy. God damn it, man. Look the fucking weight. I just took them all off and he did it again. Oh, oh shit. So the verdict is in. I haven't even done a working set yet. And I think this is my favorite Arsenal back machine so far that I've ever tried. bit more for work weight. Arsenal low row today, but this can apply to a lot of the other low row machines. Anything where you're pulling up like this. One thing you want to keep in mind is that you want to stay on the pad. Now, a lot of people will sit in the seat like this, and then when they row, they pull back like this. But what I do is I actually cheat back on the seat. So I'm really kind of falling into the chest pad. And then, you pull up and it's really hard and you can't lean back off the pad because you're trapped on the pad. So it's all back from there. So use your back, make yourself use your back. On T-bar rows and bent barbell rows, one of the cues that I always tried to use was that I was trying to touch my elbows behind my back. And uh, if you think about your lats drawing your arms back like this, but then they're actually rolling around behind you. You know what I mean? They're pulling their arms, pulling your arms in behind you, like you're putting your hands in your back pockets. So that's what I always envision when I'm doing T-bars. I'm trying to get my hands into my back pockets. 
So it's just the biggest contraction you can get in the lat. So one of the main reasons I'm doing T-bars is uh, I always want to make sure I do a free weight bent over exercise in my back workout. I want to maintain overall strength. You know, you don't want to get relaxed when you just start using machines for back and you're not bending over with weight and really grunting out those hard sets. There's nothing like a bent row or a T-bar or a dumbbell row or something like that. So I always make sure no matter how many machines I use or, or, or what my training is like, I make sure there's a bent over free weight exercise type exercise uh, to really load the you know, spinal erectors all the way up to the neck. Nice, nice. We're gonna rest pause this. A couple of breaths. Yep. One more round. Yep. Ah. There we go. Rest pause set, what I just did. You get three failures and a total amount of volume all in like a two minute period. So it's a lot of volume in a short period of time with three failures. So it's, it's a real sledgehammer of a set. The idea is you go to failure, take between 15 and 30 seconds rest, depending on what exercise you're on. Leg press, they go a little longer, 30 seconds. This, a little shorter. And uh, you just pound out three failures in a row like that. That's it for me. My back's trashed. Everything's going really well with my training, so I like to keep my volume right where it is. I seem to have been in a sweet spot here of uh, staying where I want to be, so I'm really happy. Thanks to uh, Flex Lewis and the Dragon's Lair Gym for having us, shooting all this content. You're gonna see a bunch of it. I'm so happy to be back in front of the camera doing a, a solo workout, haven't done that in a while. So thanks for tagging along. I hope you like my tips. You know, a lot of little things over the years I've learned, Been, you know, a lot of injuries, a lot of wasted time. And I just want to save you guys all the hassle. So thanks again, Big Ron Parlo, and I'm out. <laughs>